Good evening, everybody. Welcome to the annual senior recognition tonight. Uh, my name is Richard Town. I'm the Cheshire Center Director. I'd like to uh, welcome some special guests. Uh, tonight we have with us our chair of our regional advisory, Tom Moses. So, yep. Hi, Tom. <laughs> Principals Dr. Cindy Gallagher is here with us tonight. Welcome. <laughs> and Rob Malay, our superintendent of schools, also. <laughs> so, welcome. So, we set aside this time tonight to celebrate the hard work and dedication of our students. We celebrate this event in addition to a regular high school diploma because it represents a significant achievement above and beyond the standard of course of study required for the diploma. Tonight marks the end of a concentrated field of study which will launch these young people into careers a step or two ahead of their classmates. Several of you are leaving here with college credits. Others may also have completed an internship and many are already on your career path with college and jobs already lined up. So what does it mean to have completed a career or technical education program in high school? What does it mean to potential employers, college admissions officers, and military recruiters? It means you've taken a step in the right direction. You've invested in yourself. Even at a young age, you've taken an active interest in your own future, and you're now able to make some decisions. You've demonstrated ambition. You're seeking something. You've demonstrated a work ethic that will lead to your success in any field, any job, and any endeavor in your future. You are ready for what, what comes next. Congratulations. In the closed opening remarks, I'd like to leave you with these thoughts. There is honor in your work, designing, creating, and growing. There is pride in your work, making, building, mending, and protecting. And there is dignity in your work, healing, teaching, and nourishing. Embrace these attributes as you move ahead with your life, hold your head up high, you'll be making a difference in people's lives, especially your own. Congratulations, and thank you for coming. <laughs> At this time, I'd like to introduce our first presenter, our school counselor, Charlie Hansel. Good, e Good afternoon, <clears throat> excuse me. Welcome and thank you for coming um, and joining us in this evening, recognizing these graduates. It's been a pleasure to work with these students in the Cheshire Career Center. Um, my name is Charlie Hansel, as Richard said. Um, as career counselor in the Career Center, I had the privilege of working with a group of student representatives who I'd like to recognize as Cheshire Career Center student ambassadors. Student ambassadors are selected by their program instructor based upon their overall strength of character, their leadership qualities, their commitment to their program of study, along with their strong academic performance. <clears throat> they serve as representatives of the CCC, as advocates for career and technical education, and their individual program. They do this in a variety of manners, including, but not limited, to serving as tour guides for our prospective sending school students, incoming freshmen in elementary schools, they also advocate and provide information regarding their individual programs <clears throat> in student classroom assemblies and the CCC Opportunities Fairs. At this time, I would like to recognize each student ambassador for their overall achievements and thank them for their willingness to volunteer their time <clears throat> to advocate for career and technical education. Charlotte Alexander. <laughs> Sam Bergeron. Parker Bolduc. <laughs> Emma Fallon. <laughs> Anya Fisher. Lexi Garrett, 
Delilah Hathaway. Soleil Langanier. Cameron Michelson. Pooja Sony. Shelby O'Neill. Anya Supernor. Sophia Truman. Ava Jean Simons. Andre Villeneuve. Sam Timmer. And Rain Wyatt. Kylie Knowles. <clears throat> Congratulations, guys. Thank you for all your hard work. While I'm up here, I'll continue. <clears throat> um, this is the Markham Homage Technology Award. The Markham Homage, Homage Technology Award is awarded to a KHS student with a strong technical background who has demonstrated good school citizenship and who intends to continue their education. Tonight's winner is Brandon Andashevitz. Hey, good evening. I'm speaking on behalf of Victor Kissel. Uh, this is the SME Scholarship. Uh, this award is given to a senior going into engineering. Engineering efforts have enhanced the quality of life since the beginning of time. SME Chapter 124 would like to support those who will make contributions to our future quality of living in our country and our world. This year's recipient is Trent Morrison. that I'm presenting this evening is the Mananoc Realtor Scholarship. This is awarded to a Cheshire Career Center student who has maintained a 3.5 GPA or higher and who has demonstrated good citizenship skills, shown good attendance, and put forth effort in their related career fields. This recipient is extra special to me because I have had the pleasure of watching her grow and mature over the last 18 years. She was quite... A she was a quiet little preschooler who enrolled in our preschool program and then returned to me as a confident high school student and completed our careers in education program. I am pleased to award the Monadnock Realtor Scholarship to Scarlett Craven. The next scholarship is the Key Memorial Fund Scholarship. 
This is awarded to a student who demonstrates willingness to work hard in their studies. They must show a concern for the well-being of the community and an intention to pursue further education. This year's recipient checks all of these boxes and then some. Her academic achievements are impressive and have earned her a spot in the top 10 of her class. She is deeply committed to her community with various volunteering opportunities, leadership roles in many extracurricular clubs, and she has spent countless hours working just down the road at Stonewall Farm in their education department. I am very pleased to award this key memorial scholarship to Delilah Hathaway. The next scholarship is the Priscilla Callahan Memorial Scholarship. Priscilla Callahan was a paraprofessional in our classroom when I first started teaching here at the Cheshire Career Center. She gently guided me through my first few years of teaching and selfish, selflessly gave back to others. She had a soft and gentle presence in our classroom and a nurturing way with the children. When she passed away, her family decided to establish the scholarship in her memory. This year, the scholarship committee has selected a careers in education student to receive this scholarship. She'll be pursuing a career in early childhood education this fall at NHTI Community College in Concord. Please join me in congratulating Shelby O'Neill. So this year, I'm pleased to be able to recognize two students for the Early Childhood Education Scholarship. The first recipient has a natural talent for being a teacher and has poured her heart and soul into her coursework for careers in education. She shows up to class with a vision and a plan for a project, and we all love to watch her make this happen. She is so kind and generous to her peers, always bringing them little gifts or treats around special occasions. This year, I would like to award $1,000 to Charlotte Alexander. <laughs> and the second recipient of the Early Child Education Scholarship has demonstrated exceptional leadership skills. She was known to quietly step in and assist her peers if their teaching plan wasn't going as expected and would politely and quietly offer an alternative solution. She has strong classroom management skills and has a special talent for working with some of our preschoolers who benefit from more one-on-one -on -one teaching. I love watching her incorporate her own passion for nature and music into our classroom. She has many talents and I know they will all help her be very successful as she heads to college in North Carolina this fall, majoring in environmental and outdoor education. Congratulations to Delilah Hathaway. award for me this evening is the Linda Pru Kindness Award. Linda Pru worked for 48 and a half years for the Keene School District. She was an executive assistant for the Cheshire Career Center for 44 years. Linda has many great work skills, but one of the best known is her ability to work well and effectively with anyone. Linda's extensive knowledge, calm demeanor, great sense of humor, and her energizer bunny work ethic are all qualities that we love about her. It is for these reasons that the staff of the Cheshire Career Center decided to create the Linda Prue Kindness Award in honor of her retirement in 2020. The Cheshire Career Center staff submit nominations each year and look for students who exemplify similar traits as Linda. Linda has a huge heart. The recipient should be thoughtful and a kind person. Linda is a hard worker. The recipient shall demonstrate good work ethic and be able to work effectively with anyone. Linda always goes above and beyond what is expected of her. The recipient shall always go that extra mile without being asked. Linda would always stop whatever she was in the middle of doing to help others. This recipient must be a team player and willing to help others. This year, 
This recipient has many of Linda's qualities. Her instructor said, every school day the student comes to class with respect for all, a smile on her face, and the ability to look for the positives in every situation. She naturally exhibits all of the qualities of the Linda Prue Kindness Award. This year, the Cheshire Career Center staff would like to recognize McKenna Smith with the Linda Prue Kindness Award. Time, I'd like to invite the Sullivan family to come and present their scholarship. Good evening, everybody. First, we'd like to congratulate all of the students being celebrated here tonight. You've all worked hard to get to this point, and we know you have bright, wonderful futures ahead of you. Please take a moment at some point before graduation to thank all the people, your parents, and teachers especially that helped you get this far and will continue to support you long into the future. This scholarship is being presented on behalf of my mom. Joanne was a preschool teacher in Keene from 2006 till 2012. Many students in this room may have had the opportunity to have her as a teacher in Keene. She, was, uh, she went on to teach kindergarten at Franklin School she was a New Hampshire Teacher of the Year nominee both in 2007 and 2014, and she earned a trip to the U.S. Space and Rocket Camp in Huntsville, Alabama, 2007, as a National Teacher of the Year runner-up. Her favorite book was Miss Rumpius That's my job. <laughs> by Barbara Cooney. It's a story of Alice Rumpius who longed to travel the world, live in a house by the sea, and to find some way to make the world more beautiful. The parallels between this book and the life she led are remarkable. She traveled as much as she could and spent time every summer in Maine near the seacoast, which covers the first two items on Ms. Rumpius's list. She followed her dreams, loved with an open heart, and inspired others to do the same. Her work in the classroom as a teacher and mentor for future teachers, I think we can all agree that Joanne found a way to make the world more beautiful, which covers the last item on Ms. Rumpius' list. When she passed away in December of 2015, her friends, co-workers, and past students and families established this scholarship in her honor to help students going on to pursue education-related careers. Each recipient receives $1,000 scholarship to help with college expenses and a copy of the Ms. Rumpius book to start their student library. In their essay, this year's recipient shared that she had come to appreciate the value of formative lessons taught in preschool and the importance of integrating fun into those lessons. She said, the classroom environment should be a mixture of routine, positive learning, spontaneous play. Teachers should laugh along with their students. Those are thoughts and ideals that our mom tried to demonstrate in her classroom every day. And it would not be quite a keen moment if we didn't have other connections to this recipient as well. After selecting this individual, we realized that her mother was a teacher to me, my brother, and my sister, and she happened to be a student in the preschool program here when I was teaching there, too. So we would like to congratulate this award to Scarlett Craven. Uh, our next presenter tonight is uh, our cosmetology instructor, Gail Neely. On behalf of um, Keen Beauty Academy, I wanted to present um, the scholarships that they award to students that have shown interest in attending post-secondary school with them. And quite a few of my students, I'm proud to say, are, are gonna be attending there this year. So if they could all come up um, one by one, I wanna present this first one to Kai Clough.
Lillian Blanchard. Felicity Buffum. Anya Supernor. Scarlett Craven. Patience by care. <laughs> Chloe Wheeler. <laughs> and Lila Simzik. This next award that I'd like to present is to a, an outstanding student in my um, class who exemplifies just um, so much. She um, has been chosen as the, um, the uh, Cosmetology um, Center's um, scholarship. And um, this student is amazing. Her passion for cosmetology is unfounded and she's so talented and she's currently enrolled already this fall to go to um, the Paul Mitchell School in Portsmouth. So I'd like to nominate Nora Hook. Yeah. Next is the Margaret McDougall Nursing Scholarship, and that will be presented by Cindy McDougall. Good evening. My name is Cindy McDougall Zett, and I am a member of the Keene High class of 1977. And when I graduated from Keene High, the Cheshire Career Center had only been open for maybe a year or two, so I didn't have the opportunity to take advantage of it. It really would have helped fast track me. Um, I think we just had like audio, visual, and building arts at that point. So um, this is amazing. The slideshow today was just amazing. I'm really impressed. Um, I'm here tonight. And I'm honored to be with you, the graduating class of 2023. I'm here tonight to present my mother's memorial scholarship. It's difficult to sum up the essence of my mother, Peg Herney McDougall, and her contributions to this and other communities in a short presentation. But I believe that the following thoughts might help you imagine the impact that my mother's career as a nurse had on the Monadnock region. Perhaps, just perhaps, there is someone in this room tonight who was a patient 60 some odd years ago in the emergency room of the former Elliott Hospital on Main Street. If so, my mother Peg might very well have treated your injury or illness. Peg earned the position of head nurse of the emergency room prior to, op prior to the opening of the new hospital, the Cheshire Medical Center, now Dartmouth Hitchcock Keene. Perhaps there is someone here tonight who was a patient or who had a family member who was a patient on what was known as the third floor of the Cheshire Medical Center in the 1970s and 80s. If so, you most likely met Peg, who at that point was head nurse of the third floor 42 bed medical unit with a staff of nearly 50 employees. Peg was known to introduce herself to every incoming patient to reassure them of their care under her supervision. Perhaps later in the 1990s, you or someone you know had an appointment at the Keene Clinic, as it was called then. If so, you might have run into Peg as she started to plan for retirement by working fewer hours at the clinic. 
Perhaps there's someone here tonight who over the years has been involved with the New Hampshire chapter of the American Red Cross or with local blood drives, and if so, you might have met or heard of PEG. Perhaps there's someone here this evening who has followed local scholastic court sports over the years, and if so, you probably heard Peg cheering for her children and her grandchildren. Or if you ever went to a yard sale during any of those years, you probably ran into Peg. My mother passed away at the age of 96 in the fall of 2019, six months prior to the COVID outbreak. At the end of her life, she was cared for by her fellow nurses and by friends and family who adored her. To say that Peg had the respect of her peers, her friends, her family, and her community is an understatement. Everyone seemed to know Peg. They knew her to be a woman of courage, faith, resolve, determination, and strength. They knew her to be fair and honest, optimistic and hopeful. Most especially, they knew her to be an outstanding nurse. Peg received the key to the city of Keene in 1987, but that's a story for another day. So for the time being, I am here to, I'm pleased to announce that the 2023 recipient of the Margaret McDougar Scholarship is Cadence Gilbert. <laughs> Next we have Jordan Scott. Hello, um, as mentioned, I'm Jordan Scott. I'm a local restaurant owner and former graduate of the culinary program here at Keene High. I graduated in 2006 and Scott Rogers was my teacher then and now is my friend and I've gotten to work with him. The Culinary Journey Scholarship started about 20 years ago and it was just done by Luca Paris and Scott doing random events. We, I actually, as a student here, contributed to some of the events that helped raise funds for those scholarships. I promised Luca not to talk about those events anymore, and we probably won't now that Scott's moving on. But they were interesting, and I learned an awful lot, both in the program and through the after school, like events and things that we did over the time. This year is a really big year, and I'm really proud to be able to present it, because with Scott Rogers' retirement this year, we have decided to rededicate the scholarship in his name. Um, so it's now the Scott Rogers Culinary Journey Scholarship, and I am able to present it to three recipients this evening. Um, the first of whom is a two-year completer of the program, best known for his sense of humor and his love of culinary, both in and out of uh, restaurants. And apparently he really surprised his instructors with making a beef wellington for his family. And that was quite a wow factor there. So if you can please join me in congratulating Sam Perry. The second recipient this evening is, really everyone is a two-year completer as long as they're here tonight, I believe, because that's just the way it works for this program. Uh, in the past, there were three-year completers. I was one of the last people that was allowed to take the program for three years for a while. I think Scott got incredibly tired of the way third years acted and nixed that, uh, and then brought it back and was reminded of the mistake and nixed it again. Um, but. We now have many two-year completers, and congratulations to all of you who made it through it. It's a phenomenal program. Um, but the next recipient uh, has a passion more for baking and pastry specifically, which they do an awful lot in the culinary program here. And I can't even read my own handwriting, but it's all right. Um, is going to be continuing on in the culinary field, going to Johnson and Wales with a focus on baking and pastry in the fall. And join me in congratulating Maria Dougal, did you go? I apologize for butchering your name, Mariah. <laughs> and the third and final scholarship is going to be going to someone who also has a love of baking and pastry and who I have had the pleasure of working with over the last couple of years at my restaurant. Um, she is just been phenomenal, worked every position that we have in the restaurant, started out working dish, has served, worked the line, made bread and pastries, and now primarily hosts and kitchen serves and helps serve. 
and is going to be going on to the Culinary Institute of America in the fall. Please join me in congratulating Gabby Markell. The next presenter is Michelle Davis. Hello, everyone. I hope you had a wonderful day. Congratulations on this accomplishment. It is a major milestone in your education as young adults, and you should all be very proud of yourselves. I am sure your families and friends who are here with you tonight are very proud. You have accomplished something that many Keene High School students never had to go through, a pandemic. I was a graduate of Keene High School and you had so many things you had to focus on and pivot over the last three years. So let's just take a moment to congratulate yourselves and your peers. Let's also just take a moment to be grateful for our families and our friends who have supported us during this process. And then again to the staff and faculty at Keene High School who worked so hard and tirelessly over the last few years to constantly pivot and make sure to serve your needs to the best of their ability during a very trying time. So I am here to present the Keon Iowano Memorial Scholarship. A few of us decided to rally together and create this fund when we tragically and suddenly lost our dear friend a number of years ago. Keon was a great community member. He loved life. He was very passionate. <clears throat> he also loved dogs <laughs> very, very much. And he loved cooking, and he was so proud of his restaurant, which is now Machina Art Bar. If you have not been to Machina Art Bar, I highly uh, uh, encourage you to go there. It is just phenomenal plates and great mocktails and cocktails. You will be very pleased with your experience there. All of you have worked very hard, as I've already mentioned, and it's never easy for our committee to specifically select a student because we really want to be able to give to all. We recognize how important scholarship funds are to you in your pursuits for higher education, and we hope that all of your dreams will come true as you move beyond your schooling here and move out into the future of your endeavors with your careers. We have decided this year to grant the scholarship to a person who will be attending Johnson and Wales. And this young man, it goes by the name of Sam Perry. <laughs> Sam was also a volunteer at the Community Kitchen, which is very dear to us as Kian's mother has spent many years tirelessly preparing meals and serving the needs of homeless people and people in need in our community, providing good food. So, the last few years have taught us about pivoting and new experiences, so tonight this might be a first ever in the scholarship evening at Keene High School, but I do not have your check yet. <laughs> Uh, so Steve normally pre presents. Uh, he has been in Ireland. Steve is Keon's brother. He is flying back from Ireland, and I know a check was getting prepared for you before he left, but we don't know where it is at the moment. <laughs> so I'm going to shake your hand, and thank you very much for being understanding. Let's get a good cheer. <laughs> Sam and your family, thank you for your understanding. We will make sure that the Career Center has your check soon. <laughs> Next is Amy Bartlett. Uh, the Business Entrepreneurship Scholarship is awarded to a student who has completed two or more courses in business or accounting. This year's recipient will majoring in business at Roger Williams University. I would like to present this scholarship to Emma Goldsmith. I 
Next we have Mr. Olson. Okay, hello everybody. Um, I am here presenting the Quarter Mile Scholarship, which um, was set up by uh, my family after uh, my father uh, retired after 35 years of teaching here at Keene High School. He actually did his student teaching here, so it's actually 36. Um, he would just want me to let you all know that. Um, <laughs> Uh, the uh, Quarter Mile Scholarship is awarded to a senior who has completed at least two years of uh, classes in the automotive or the machine tool slash advanced engineering programs. Um, they also must be pursuing a career in the automotive industry or machine tool advanced engineering field. Um, my recipient this evening is Jack Lorenz. Is Mr. Rogers. Um, it's my pleasure to give out the uh, Culinary Arts Scholarship. Um, I'm always proud of this one because the funds for it are raised by the students themselves. We run a lab restaurant and when we don't screw up the food and we don't mess up the service, we actually get tips. And the tips go so towards the scholarship. And apparently, despite my yelling at them, they must have done okay because we raised a lot of money this year. So I'm actually pleased to say we can give out two scholarships this year. Um, they are going to go to two people who are both going into baking and pastry arts, but they're going to different colleges, and I know the two colleges love to like go at each other. So when they finish up their career, I'm going to have to have them get back together and see who thinks they got the best education. But our, our two recipients tonight um, of the Culinary Arts Scholarships are Gabby Martell and Mariah Ed Edugal. Edugal. Okay, thank you. I have the honor of awarding the uh, Julia J. Boris Memorial Scholarship. The Julia J. Boris, uh, Julia J. Boris attended Keene Schools and graduated from Keene High School. She participated in many school activities. In college, Julia majored in home economics. She graduated from Keene State College with a bachelor's degree and later earned a master's degree with honors from the University of New Hampshire. During her early years, she assisted her father in the management of his restaurant the Bob Ton. Julia was a teacher of home economics for many years. She knew the value of good nutrition and how to contribute to good health and promoted good nutritional habits for her students. This year's recipient is Sam Perry. The Scott R. Ball Memorial Scholarship. The Scott R. Ball Memorial Scholarship was established by family and friends in loving memory of Scott Ryan Ball, who died at the age of 16 and a half years following a car accident on the evening of November 29, 1999. At the time of the accident, Scott was a junior at Keene High School and had plans to pursue a career as an EMT paramedic. He was also very involved in horticulture and forestry activities. Scott was described as a bright, energetic, and caring young man who was respected by his peers and friends for his kindness, unselfish manner, and loyalty. He was a dedicated, ambitious, and hardworking teenager who had a great sense of humor. It is the wish of Scott's family that this scholarship be awarded to a student who exemplifies the many interests and qualities that made Scott a very special young man. The student who would be furthering his or her education in the emergency medical sciences safety field pursuing EMT paramedic, paramedic training or continuing uh, education in the horticulture or forestry areas. Although this scholarship was initially established, of, um, established for financially assist a student who would pursue EMT paramedic training or a career in the horticulture or forestry areas, 
It was later broadened to include students who intend to pursue education in other areas related to medicine in the event that no student were found with EMT paramedic or horticulture forestry interest. The recipient of Scott's scholarship does not have to be a straight A student, but should demonstrate initiative, a willingness to work hard, and always be willing to help someone in need without expecting something in return. Scott would certainly be proud and pleased to know that he has helped someone in a small way to pursue further education in a career related to his own interest. This year, there's an ample funding to allow two $1,400 scholarships awards to be given, and there are two students who exemplify the interests and qualities that made Scott a very special young man. The first student to receive this award will graduate from Keene High School and has been enrolled at the Cheshire Career Center Program for Health Sciences and EMT for the two-year program. She has her EMT license and plans to work as an EMT during her college years. Her school counselor describes her as a, as a fiercely independent, determined hard worker and a person who will achieve in any goal she sets. She has worked at Cedar Crest Center for Children and Applewood Center for Rehab as an LNA and has also participated in FFA, cross country and basketball. She will attend uh, New England College in the fall with a major in nursing, BSN, having always wanted to become a pediatric nurse. It is with pleasure that this, we present this first of this year's Scott R. Ball Memorial Scholarship and awards the amount of $1,400 to Ariana Rakowski. The second recipient is Reagan Hoy. I almost forgot. The second student to receive this award will also graduate from Keene High School and has completed the Cheshire Career Center programs for Health Science and EMT Honors. She's described as by her counselors as a hardworking, compassionate, and motivated and she has set high standards for herself. She has a cumulative weighted GPA of 4.02 and ranked 41 out of 264 students in her class. She has a very busy schedule outside of her classes, being involved with the Student Council, Class Council, Interact Rotary Club, and Student Athletic Leadership Council. She's also the captain of the Varsity Cross Country Team, Varsity Nordic Track Ski Team, Varsity Track and Field, and also finding time to volunteer at the Walpole Recycling Center and work a part-time job. She will attend the University of New Hampshire majoring in nursing with an eventual goal of getting her master's or doctorate degree to become an advanced practice nurse. It is with great pleasure that we present the second year's award of the Scott Arbo Mall Scholarship, awarding the amount of $1,400 to Reagan Hoy. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay. The Town Fair Tire Vocational School Toolship Award. The Town Fair Tire Foundation Incorporated is a generous uh, to donate a check in the amount of $2,000 for the Tool Ship Award. This award is to be given in the amount of $500 each to two male students and two female students from the program, from any program at the CCC, and to be used to purchase items needed to start their new careers. The recipients are Jack Hebert. Mariah Edigal. <laughs> Tyler Vorse. and Gabrielle Martel. The Matthew C. Frazier FFA Memorial Scholarship. The scholarship is given in memory of Matthew C. Frazier of Nelson. Matt attended the Church Career Center and was very involved in the horticulture program and the FFA, serving as its vice president of the FFA for two years. 
He participated in many FFA leadership activities and completed the horticulture career development events throughout the state, taking first place in the New Hampshire tractor operations. His work ethic, enthusiasm, love of the great outdoors, and caring personality endeared him to his family, friends, and all knew whom, who knew Matt. The recipient shall be given a, uh, to a horticulture student who intends to pursue a career in that direction of horticulture and agriculture. If there are no qualified horticulture participants, consideration will be given to a student from the Machine Tools Program. This year's recipient is Matthew Frazier. Oh, sorry. Brandon Anna Shevitz. Brandon Anna Shevitz. Okay, the Gordy B. Davis Forever Four Scholarship. Uh, this is awarded to a student who is pursuing further education and or instruction in automotive and motorcycle repair or any other career in the automotive industry. The recipient must demonstrate a willingness to and an aptitude to learn and grow. This year's recipient is Isaac Hobbs. The Good Child Music, Media, and Marketing Scholarship is awarded to a student showing aptitude and ambition in creating in creative fields integrated with their marketing education. This year's recipient is Sophie Headings. The Newbury Drogue Aviation Scholarship is in memory of Dr. Drogue, whose passion was aviation. We wish to recognize a senior from the class of 2023 that has an interest in aviation or engineering. This year's recipient is Trent Morrison. Okay, we are now going to transition to the uh, awarding of certificates and honor cords for program completers. Okay, so what we will be doing is recognizing students individually uh, by program alphabetically. So the first program, uh, the instructors are Amy Bartlett and Norm Whittle, which are the accounting and business programs. <clears throat> Hold on. Joseph Depew. Emma Goldsmith. Xander Olmsted. The accounting program provides students with the knowledge and skills necessary for a solid understanding of accounting principles. Students can elect to receive six college credits from River Valley Community College Running Start program. This year's Outstanding Accounting Student Award is awarded to all three of these students who have completed both Accounting 1 and Accounting 2. These students all consistently have displayed determination, dedication, diligence, uh, persistence, endurance, and commitment to their learning and work ethic in this program. Uh, for these reasons, we are honored to award the Outstanding um, student, uh, Accounting Student Award to, um, first of all, Joseph Depew. He'll be majoring in computer networking at NHTI.
Emma Goldsmith. She'll be majoring in business at Roger Williams University. And Xander Olmsted, who will be majoring in accounting at River Valley Community College. The next program that up, that's up is Automotive Technology and the stru instructor is Don Turner. <laughs> Joshua Eyring. <laughs> Brady Forius. <laughs> Dylan Forius. Damon Greer. Isaac Hobbs. Eli Hudson. Jack Lorenz. Skylar Shippey. Jackson Trudell. Good evening. Um, I just want a round of applause for all these guys because it's been a great, great two years. There is another student who's a completer who's not here uh, because he's playing baseball and in the playoffs. Uh, Carter Hennessy uh, isn't with us this evening. Um, these guys, uh, uh, and there was a young lady who couldn't be here this evening either, but you have to maintain an 80 or better and pass your ASCs to be a uh, program completer uh, in automotive. It's pretty rigorous and these guys have done it. Um, we've had a lot of fun along the way. This group I will miss quite a lot. Stop, don't stop there, you don't see that side of me, all right? <laughs> uh, I have two out students, two outstanding students this year uh, who've worked hard um, and set the standards and met the standards for auto. Uh, the first student is always dependable, collaborates well with the other students, helps them when they need help, uh, communicates with myself during class as well as when uh, they aren't there. Uh, the student shows great passion for learning the industry and will be a valuable asset to any employer. Uh, this student is Jack Lorenz. Jack. Uh, my second student uh, has shown significant growth from his first year in the program. Uh, this student, when he first came in the program, had a lot of fears of doing anything in the shop because he was afraid he was going to make a mistake, only to discover that I set my labs up so you do make a mistake on purpose because uh, you will learn from that. Uh, after a little while of doing the labs and moving along, uh, he didn't, no longer worries about making mistakes and dives right into doing the work. Um, he understands that it's common and things will happen. Uh, he's become very confident. He's very comfortable asking questions and will uh, perform any task when required. Uh, the student is Eli Hudson. The next program up is Careers in ed Education. Jennifer Anishevitz and Cheryl Lamoureux are the instructors. <laughs> Bat Bart Abdullahu. <laughs> Charlotte Alexander. Jadira Betancourt. Scarlett Craven. Ashlyn Grayston. Katie Harrington. Delilah Hathaway. 
Shelby O'Neill. Ava Jean Simons. Rain Wigan. <laughs> it's been an exciting year in careers in education, and I'm so proud of these future educators. Some of the highlights over the course of the year, we went on a field trip the first time I took this group to the Children's Museum in Keene. Just imagine them running around and exploring as if they were a three-year-old, a five-year-old, an eight-year-old exploring with the materials so they could come back and develop a dramatic play lesson plan of their own. We attended Teacher Fest and Teacher Palooza held at Plymouth State, which is a statewide workshop for future teachers. We had students compete in our Educators Rising State competition, and they placed second and third in the state, which qualified them for a trip to nationals. I'd like to congratulate Fafi, Delilah, and Charlotte. We are headed to Orlando the end of June. Watching this group of students build relationships with our 14 preschoolers has been one of the most rewarding experiences as an educator. They have all made meaningful connections with our students and helped them develop the skills that they need. At this time, I'd like to recognize each of our seniors with a special handmade gift by our preschoolers. As Mrs. Lamoureux passes these out, passes the gifts out, there is a little keepsake for you to take with you as you graduate, and I hope that you always remember your time at the Cheshire Center Preschool. Don't worry, there's, there's enough. <laughs> <laughs> Lastly, I would like to recognize two of our students this year as our outstanding students for careers in education. They have both gone above and beyond my expectations, setting the bar extremely high for next year's students. They have incredible, they have incredible instinct and, are, and strong teaching skills. They are polite, they are respectful, and they know how to get the job done. Each year when it's time to nominate an outstanding student, I always look for input from their peers. This year, both of these students received the same number of nominations from their peers up here. They both have very bright futures ahead, and I look forward to watching them build on their future successes. I am very pleased to announce our two outstanding students. They are Delilah Hathaway and Charlotte Alexander. Next program up is computer programming. Patrick Lagasse is the instructor. Matthew Brannan. Jay Butler. Aiden Chapdelaine. Joseph Depew. Aiden Doyon. Matthew McLean, Alexandra Radner, Nathan Sampson, Tyler Force, Good evening. Um, haven't heard it yet tonight, so why don't we have a round of applause for the class of 2023. Let's hear it. Three days left, folks. So um, it's been my distinct honor to have spent the past two and some three years and four with some people who just won't bring me fish, but that's a story for another day. Um, every year as a computer programming instructor, I end up thinking, wow, this was you know, the most amazing group of students, I'm never gonna see their like again. And then the next year comes, and I end up saying wow all over again. Um, I've had um, an amazing ride with this group of students. It has really been something. And this group, much like the group before them, is uh, very diverse. And uh, well, 
politically correct, I guess we'll call them unique, extremely unique. Not necessarily in a good way all the time, but really unique. They're, um, they're logical, they're structured. This is kind of the, what makes a computer programming student. They're very mathematical, logical thinkers. Normally, I have to encourage them to come out of their shell and express their creative side. I think I asked too much of them this time because this group had no problem with that. As a matter of fact, they got so creative that, well, I'm wearing a bracelet with my name, Lama Lagasse, on it, so I'll just leave it at that. They're creative. Um, every year, we are asked to pick a student that represents our group, our outstanding student. Um, some years it's easy to, some student just shines, other years it's really complicated, and this is one of those years. Um, I have many students who aren't here tonight because of conflicts with award ceremonies at other schools, um, but as I reflected through and I thought about, you know, what each one of these students meant this um, past two years to me, I realized that in every way I feel they were outstanding, and every one of them I think deserves special recognition. But I did narrow my choice down to three out of 14 this year. So my first outstanding student is an amazing young woman. Um, she brought positive attitude to my class at all, all times. She was always willing to help others. Um, she showed up early in my class, sometimes too early, very early in the morning. Uh, she was in my eye time, seemed like six times a week, but at least three or four. Uh, she's no, not with us here tonight because she's in Winchester um, at a scholarship award, but my first outstanding student is Emily Round. So let's give her a round of applause for Emily. <laughs> my second outstanding student is a young man. Um, he gives so much to his academics, and his mom would say that she worries about him a lot. She happens to work here at the school. Last year, I would have described him as very introverted, quiet, shy, reserved, very typical computer science student. I don't know what happened this year. Senior hit him and everything changed, but he has grown from a quiet, shy young man to a true leader. And I have to honestly say that I am positive that the world is a better place because this young man is in it. So my second outstanding student is Aiden Chapdelaine. And last, but certainly not least, my third and final outstanding student truly exemplifies what the Cheshire Career Center is all about. This student didn't complete one or two, but completed three of our programs here. I've been here for 20 years and I've never seen a student complete three programs. I might be old and just have forgotten, but I don't think anybody ever has, so. Um, and this person has transformed right in front of my eyes. Uh, extremely shy, very quiet. Um, lacked confidence, and I believe that the experience in all of the programs at the Cheshire Career Center really changed this student's lives, life, and I believe wholly that he changed all of the teachers that he was in their classes. So my final outstanding student goes to Joe DePew. And Lastly, um, Joe is going on to uh, NHTI for computer science. Um, he's referred to fondly in my class as Dancing Joe. I don't think he'll probably perform for you tonight. Um, but I'm pleased to uh, give this $1,300 scholarship to NHTI uh, to Joe and wish him much success. Come on, guys. The next program is Construction Trades. Unfortunately, Mr. Williams, the instructor, could not be here, but there is one member of the class here, Isaac Cook. As Mr. Chancellor mentioned, uh, Mr. Williams was unable to be here tonight. And I uh, am pleased to hand out the um, Outstanding Student Award this year. Um, and Mr. Williams writes um, that Isaac Cook is a senior from, the, from Monadnock High School. And since the day he started uh, the construction trades class, he would always show up early and work really hard and wants to keep busy. Between the different classes, he made a few things for uh, the program and for his house and family. And I can say that I've been on a couple of job sites with, uh, with Isaac, and he's uh, going to be a great, uh, great carpenter. So uh, this uh, year's Outstanding Award uh, goes to Isaac Cook. Okay. 
Next program is cosmetology, and the instructor is Gail Neely. Lillian Blanchard. Kai Clough. Lexi Garrett. Theo Gruber. Nora Hook. Anya Supernor. Layla Sijmik. Isabella Tamala. Patience Fakir. Chloe Wheeler. Thank you all for coming tonight to honor all these students. And I want an extra round of applause, especially for these guys, because they had to deal with an instructor change in, the, in their mid-program. And I have always recognized that that's not been easy. So. Um, they rose to the occasion. Um, they probably didn't like me often, because I just kept at them. And I'm very proud of all of them, especially for bringing, like, all their grades up and getting all their assignments done and graduating with honor cords. I'm so proud of you guys for that. Um, this was my first time in my life ever being asked to um, nominate someone for an outstanding uh, student award and I battled with it until I got some really great advice that told me I was 34 years in the salon industry so I said well who would I leave my salon to to babysit while I wasn't there? Who would I not have a second thought about um, putting them you know, in charge of it? And considering all their other attributes, this particular student that um, what was going to receive this award is um, Lila Sismic. Next program is Culinary Arts. Scott Rogers and Kathy Prolifone are the instructors. <clears throat> Amelia Austin. <laughs> Anastasia Dixon. <laughs> Mariah Edgegal. <laughs> Emma Fallon. Ezra Foucher. <laughs> Kylie Knowles. <laughs> Gabrielle Martel. <laughs> Cameron Michelson. <laughs> Trinity Munsell. <laughs> Sam Perry. <laughs> Zachary Saunders. Zoe Waters. Um, before I announce the Outstanding Student Award, I have one other person I need to recognize first. This person has been in the Culinary Arts Program for the last two years and possesses leadership skills that are absolutely amazing. There is a difference between a boss and a leader. A boss is someone who has a position which allows them to tell you what you should do. A leader inspires those around them to be their best. This describes this young lady. She is a natural born leader. She works hard herself and encourages others to do the same. She has great organizational skills. 
She is kind and patient when training people. If someone is having a bad day, she is flexible and understanding. At the same time, she is not a pushover. She has expectations and you need to meet them. It is for these reasons that other students just naturally follow her directions. Truthfully, for the last half a year, I should have given her my pay for block three. On most restaurant days, she was leading the kitchen crew. She problem solved absences. She dealt with personality issues and managed the flow of food to perfection. She is an amazing human being. I have been blessed to know her. I hope she will stay in touch in the future. Very deserving of this leadership award is Amelia Austin. Okay. Uh, this award should really say outstanding person, not outstanding student. While this student is a great young cook, I have chosen them for more who they are as a human being. As a student, they are fantastic. They come to class every day, ready and eager to learn. They are always prepared. They take all of their studies seriously. They bring their A game each and every day. Culinary arts is very much a team-oriented class. This person is a strong team player. I have never seen them in a bad mood. She is always happy. She has an infectious smile. She is kind and considerate to all. She is very patient and always willing to help others as they learn new skills. This makes her invaluable as a member of a team. She has had some challenges that not all students at the center have had. She came to KHS as a sophomore, not from another school in the US, but from Jamaica. Language was not a barrier, but in culinary arts, she had to overcome a huge cultural hur hurdle, weights and measures. In Jamaica and most other countries in the world, they use the metric system for measurements. This is the most accurate measurement system. Sadly for Anastasia, the US uses the imperial system. Her teacher is too old to learn new tricks, so Anastasia had to put aside her system of measures and learn our inferior system, something she has done very well. Anastasia has immersed herself in her school community. She loves basketball. She plays on several teams in the area, including the KHS team. If she is not cooking, she is balling. Just as she does in my class, she brings nothing but her best efforts to basketball. In practice, on the court, or cheering from the bench, she is all in. And in a positive way, while she is one of the kindest people I know, it does not mean she is a pushover. She expects her best efforts at all times. She expects the same from her teammates, both on the court and in the kitchen. She will help others, she will encourage others, but in the end, they better be giving their best efforts in the process. This is a quality in life that will bring her great rewards. She understands that by helping lift others, she lifts herself. I hope someday I will be as wonderful a person as she is today. It is for these reasons Anastasia Dixon is this year's Outstanding Culinary Arts Student. Next program up is cybersecurity. Randy Nethers is the instructor. Joseph DePew. Matthew McLean. Tyler Bors. In November, I had the uh, opportunity and the privilege to take over the cybersecurity program here at uh, Keene High School. Uh, cybersecurity is a new, kind of a new trade, um, and it's, it's always developing. I think uh, we have something new coming out every day. I'm glad to see these guys here. They've got multiple cords. The, it's always good to have a programmer who is aware of cybersecurity so that when they program something, 
your data doesn't get stolen. Um, these guys are grade A. I've really enjoyed working with them. Uh, we did have, I did have to make a choice about who would be the, best, uh, the outstanding student. It was a difficult choice because they could all get, it, get that award. Um, but this year we awarded Joseph Depew that award. Joseph and Tyler are both going to NHTI, and uh, Matthew's going to Rochester Institute of Technology, if I'm right. And uh, I'm excited to see what their careers will bring, and uh, it's been, been a pleasure working with them. Thank you. Next program is drafting and design. Unfortunately, Dean Joyle couldn't be here tonight, so Richard Town will be saying some words on behalf of the students. Yes, thank you. He's uh, coaching baseball tonight. So Andrew, the, whoop, oh, sorry. Andrew Villeneuve. <laughs> to be clear, I'm about, I, I, am, I am half the class. There's only two of us. So. <laughs> Wilfredo Aponte. Let's try again. So the drafting and design uh, program is a multifaceted program allowing students to learn engineering, drafting, and design skills. Students are required to take four courses uh, within the drafting design program where they learn skills in drafting and design software. These students have taken four courses learning DraftSight, AutoCAD, SolidWorks, Onshape, and chief architect, as well as refining skills with board drawing. This year's outstanding student has worked within the, uh, within the field this school year and has extended learning opportunity, which he will continue even after graduating. He is someone whom Mr. Doral has known for years. He even helped him when he was younger with watering trees. The drafting and design outstanding student is Andre Villeneuve. <laughs> Next program up is EMT. Unfortunately, the instructor, Nancy Carney, could not be here tonight. <clears throat> Wilfredo Appointe. <laughs> Gary Gitchell. <laughs> Regan Hoy. <laughs> Luke Petrovich. <laughs> Perry Trotter. Colby Wright. I apologize for the confusion. Uh, tonight's uh, EMT uh, outstanding student is Luke Petrovic. Next program up is film and television production. Matt Olson is the instructor. Thank you. Nicholas Dumond. <laughs> Charles King. <laughs> Bud Petranich Jones. <laughs> Luke Petrovich. <laughs> Samuel Thomas. Owen Thornton. Uh, I, I really didn't know exactly how I wanted to start this out, but I did want um, everyone here to know that uh, the efforts um, that my, my students have done, some of them over the course of four years through the miracle of counseling, um, they were able to help build my program into what it is right now, which is something really unique and really special. Um, it's through their efforts, it's through uh, their hard work, and of course their talent. 
um, I get to I get to say that uh, I get to do a really creative job, and I get to help all these kids uh, foster their creativity and tell stories for a living, which is what my dream always was. So I really appreciate that I get to share that dream with you all. Um, we we've helped really build this this entity into something quite special. We. Um, I mean, I could go down the list of all the, the special things we started doing, in, including this year with our, our live streaming, streaming endeavors, including every single home basketball game this year, and uh, of course the Top Chef event that we did with the Culinary Arts Program. Um, I got at least two students doing ex, uh, extended learning opportunities, and I, I've lost track of how many students are doing work-based learning for me. Um, they are, th this is a really fun and special group, and uh, I, uh, there are days where I have been made to laugh really, really hard because of the stuff that you have all come up with, and I can't thank you enough for that. For that. Um, in terms of picking an outstanding student, I, like most of my colleagues, couldn't pick just one. Um, and it was a rather difficult decision to make because I could give it to all of them. Some of them have helped me out throughout uh, a bunch of different uh, crazy projects. Two of them may have been in drama club uh, performances over the last two years. Thank you, Owen. Thank you, Sam. And um, I just, uh, it was kind of uh, a difficult choice, but I had to pick the two that decided to stick with me through four years. I don't know how they managed to keep coming back and dealing with me and all my nerdiness and all of my, let's just say, opinions on films and movies and everything else that I uh, let you guys uh, research and enjoy. Uh, so Charles King, Jack Rindu is out playing baseball right now. I hope they're winning. But Charles King, congratulations. You're one of my two outstanding students. And Jack Rindu is well. Next program up is Fire Science, Graham Gitchell. <laughs> Wilfredo Aponte. <laughs> Luke Petrovich. <laughs> Kari Trotter. <laughs> Colby Wright. Good evening. My name is Graham Gitchell. I've been the fire science instructor. Uh, so our program's a little bit different. Uh, people take the fire science piece as juniors usually. So our completers up here, I actually had last school year. Um, great group. It, it was the first year back after the, the COVID fiasco. <laughs> Um, so uh, many of them have earned their Firefighter One certification through the New Hampshire Fire Academy. Uh, a couple of them are going on to school to further their education, headed toward a fire career. Uh, and actually, I just heard tonight, one of them is starting next month in a career position. So um, very good group of guys and, and very much needed as there's a, an incredible shortage in the fire service. Uh, my outstanding student, again, students take this program as, as a junior, so uh, my outstanding student is a, a junior this year, not a, a senior, uh, but has an absolute voracious appetite for everything fire service. Uh, ha gives 100%, whether it's the, the training side of things, which tends to be the, the fun part, the physical part, uh, or on the academic side as well. One of the things that impresses me the most is he will take either training or, or ideas, concepts that we learn, and we'll immediately be thinking about how to apply that to a, another situation or what the next step in the process would be. Uh, my outstanding student does come from a, a long line of firefighters and I'm sure we'll continue the tradition proudly. Seamus Howard.
Next program is Health Science Technology. Brianna Thompson, the instructor, could not be here, um, but we have students to recognize. Madison Carter. Caden Gilbert. Next program is man uh, manufacturing. Don't be reading it. Brayden Anishevitz. Jack Hebert. Jack Hebert. Devin Henderson. Bergen Johansson. Emery Gray. So these guys have had a tough year. Um, they're, they're really something special. Um, as a career counselor, I serve as the work-based learning coordinator. And it's a great job. And I, I get to share all of these kids with the community and get them practical experience out in the field. Um, these really are the most respectful, polite, responsible, and dedicated students. That it's a better privilege to work with them. And that's why I wanted to say something on their be behalf. <clears throat> Unfortunately, despite <clears throat> much effort in recruiting an instructor at the beginning of the year, the position remained unfilled, and we had to shutter the program. <clears throat> so faced at the beginning of the year with this unfortunate situation, each one of them were able to find employment with local manufacturers here in Keene. The bulk of their day was then spent at the facilities gaining real world experience, knowledge, and skills. All of their evaluations have been outstanding. Truly, <clears throat> several of them have been offered full-time positions upon graduation. A great thank you to Timken, Maxess, Tidlin, Amatech, Presatech, and Samson for providing this opportunity for them. So it's impossible to distinguish one of them. So it's my pleasure to announce that they have all been selected as outstanding students in the manufacturing program. Congratulations, guys. <laughs> And last but not least, marketing education, the instructor is John Lupa. Christopher Shahon. Mariah Edigal. Chloe Foucher. 
Sophie Headings. Benjamin Hertzler. Baron Schaefer. Jack Smith. Sophie Truman. Okay, before I um, announce the outstanding student, I'd like to just let the entire class of 2023 know that you all should be proud of what you have done. The hurdles you have overcome these past four years um, was not the easiest. Remote learning, hybrid learning, start time change, teacher and admin turnover, and much more. But through it all, you've been role models for years to come, so congratulations, class of 2023. This year's Outstanding Marketing Student Award was a difficult decision. The award was too close to call. There were several students who did separate themselves with their work ethic, attitude, and all the extra marketing and things that they did for Keene High School and the Career Center. A former colleague of mine gave me a question to ask when considering this award each year. If a business in Keene came to me and said they wanted my class to do a marketing campaign, for them, and it needs to be incredible, thorough, creative, who would get the assignment? These four students did get the assignment, and they did an incredible job every single time. This year's recipients go above and beyond in everything they do, and have maintained an A-plus average in all of their marketing classes here with me. The 2023 Outstanding Marketing Students of the Year, Ashley Rule, Sam Timmer, Sophia Truman, and Ben Hertzler. Well, congratulations, program completers. I have one uh, special award that I'd like to give out tonight, um, and it is for a uh, student who we've chosen to be the outstanding Trish Career Center student of all programs. And I think you've heard the student's name called three times as he is a completer of three separate career programs. And as Mr. Lagasse mentioned, uh, probably has never been done before at the Trish Career Center. So please, uh, Join me in congratulating Joseph DePew as our outstanding student of the year. Okay, thank you very much. So we have a special guest, yes, another round of applause. So in, in closing tonight, I would once again like to congratulate all of our uh, program completers and our graduates. Uh, we look forward to the, the great things that you accomplish in your future. Uh, you started out on the right track uh, here at the Church Career Center, and we look forward to seeing what you accomplish in, in your future. Uh, the next uh, group of people who I'd really like to thank uh, are our amazing staff who work with students uh, every day of the year and, and really have a mindset towards preparing them for uh, the next stage in these students' lives. And they gear all of their programs to industry standards and making sure that they are ready to um, join the, the next step of, of their life, whether it's a combination of career and, and, and jobs and college. Um, so tonight I'd like to congratulate and thank our staff. Please stand up and congratulate our staff. For, thank you. Stand to be recognized. Thank you.
There are a couple of staff members who I would like to recognize tonight. Uh, and I think you might have heard that through the course of these presentations that we'll have two long-standing instructors who uh, will not be with us next year. And uh, they will be deeply missed. Uh, their um, impression on the um, Career Center, Keene High School in the greater Keene area um, over the last uh, several decades and thousands of graduates uh, can certainly be, be felt throughout the, the region and uh, their legacy is a very positive one and so we are very sad to see them go but at the same time we wish them very well um, and much success in their retirement and certainly come back to visit uh, whenever you'd like uh, maybe even substitute if you like so uh, the first teacher that i'd like to congratulate tonight uh, is scott rogers Our next retiree is Patrick Lagasse. Well, I'm certainly going to miss uh, these uh, two retiring teachers uh, next year. They were instrumental in helping me um, in my first year at the Cheshire Career Center, as well as, um, as, as um, Tammy Shepard tonight, um, and doing so many things this year that we came in uh, to the school year. We both started in August, and uh, I really have to have a um, heartfelt thank you to both Patrick and Scott for uh, helping us keep the uh, Cheshire Career Center going and make sure that this year is uh, was a fantastic year, uh, even though it was, was the last, and I'm going to miss their sage advice and their good counsel um, and, and valued voice of the faculty. Um, so thank you very much. The last person that I'd like to congratulate tonight is somebody who has uh, once again started with me in August this year, and from the beginning of the school year was known that she had to put together an event, uh, this event, um, to compile all of the scholarships, uh, control all of the awards, chase down all of the presenters, and make sure that our scholarships are all above board and everything was going to be, go as smoothly as it did tonight. And uh, I think that she did an amazing job, and I would really like to offer some congratulations to Tammy Shepard. Come on up. Thank you very much for, uh, for joining us tonight, especially families. Uh, I know what the, uh, the sacrifices and the commitment that you've put in to ensure that your students are successful through high school and especially through these programs. So I'd like to say my thank you to you as well. And please join us out in the lobby for some uh, cake and punch. Thank you for coming, everybody.